What's up guys? Today I'm going to upgrade my fog lights and turn signals with OLM. I've had these um, low beam bulbs for a while actually from this company OLM and they've done really well so far. I've had no issues with them so I went ahead and picked up a few more things. So here we've got the turn signals. Um, these all have the blacked out background um, in there. The stock ones are like a chrome and they're a bulb. These are LEDs and then it's got the uh, you know the back that's black so I think that's gonna look really good on the bezel um, and help black it out a little bit. Definitely excited to get this one on the car. Uh, here are the fog lights from OLM and these have the background that's black as well so that's blacked out too and then you've got your LED in there um, can't remember they have two versions of these can't remember which one I bought but one of the versions has a little uh, kind of like a, I wouldn't call it a C light but it's got LED on the top and then the bottom so that might be a day running light option I'm not can't remember if I got those or not but I'm thinking I didn't since there's only one plug um, but anyway, these are going to look really nice in the bezel when they're paired with the turn signals. So, just going to work on getting these installed today. First up to remove the bezel, I'll just take this plastic tool right here, stick it in where the turn signal is, pops right out. You can actually do this trick with the OEM bezels as well. They don't have to be the aftermarket ones. So, slide that out. Yeah. Alright, got the bezel off. So I've already got the push tabs on the bottom of the car removed and I can get my hand through the plastic shielding on the bottom into the bezel area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this small screwdriver and go in there with one hand and try to undo these Phillips head screws from the back and then remove the fog light. I'll also have to disconnect or remove the uh, the bulb cabling so that's what I'll do. So if you want to make this a little easier on yourself you can jack the car up a little bit and then completely remove the plastic shielding underneath the car. Hello. Uh -oh. The fog lights actually have this little plastic spacer on them. I guess this is so the screw doesn't go all the way in, but uh, make sure you try to retain that and put it back. And then we'll just drop the fog light through the bottom. And we've got the fog light plug right here. So we'll just disconnect this from the light, push down on the tab, fairly easy. Well, maybe not easy, but straightforward. These things are usually in here really well. There we go. Well, disconnect the fog light. And now, it's a lot easier to reach the turn signal. And I'll go ahead and start just disconnecting. The plug from the turn signal. Let's see, actually, twist this one. There we go, twist the bulb. And the whole thing will come out. Just go ahead and unplug that with the plastic. So, turn signal. So now there are two 10 millimeter bolts that we need to loosen to remove the turn signal. And just have to fill it out. It's, they're not that tight. Uh, got the bottom one loosened and then I'm just feeling around for the second one. It's somewhere up here 
probably like right here on the, but this is the, how the height of how high it is. So just crack that loose, get them going. And then we can loosen up the nuts. Still in here pretty good. Just wiggle it out best we can until it comes out. Oh yeah, there are these push tabs. There's a little clips right here, but these little clips actually hold in the turn signal as well. But if you just go up and down with the turn signal housing, it pops right out. Oh, here's the new turn signal. And it has two connectors on it. Uh, this one is the OEM connector style, so that's where that connects. And then this one is for a uh, capacitor. Um, so we'll need to connect that to this small wire coming from the new turn signal. And let's see, where's the tab here? All right, just like that. Easy enough. And this capacitor has also got some sticky tape on the other side of it, so we can we can stick it in there, mount it where we want. Um, I'll probably just end up going right next to the housing uh, for the bumper of the turn signal. So the new turn signal also comes with a washer and a nut. This nut is 5 16 now instead of the OEM 10 millimeter nut. Uh, personally, I leave the plastic on here until I'm finished um, mounting everything. And we'll go ahead and we'll feed this capacitor and the plug through the hole for the turn signal. And I'll get the 5 16 ratchet on here. Wrench. Connect the OEM plug for the light. Alright, yeah, it's a snap. Good deal. Two find somewhere to stick the capacitor and we got to make sure it's not out here this is where the uh, bezel goes so this don't put it out here anywhere so the best place I've found for it is the bumper housing for the turn signal here so if you go back right here follow this line on the inside of the going toward the engine so if you just go straight back, there's a little notch right here, a little hole, and then there's the bumper housing for the turn signal. And this is where I'm going to put the capacitor. Just push it on the edges of the capacitor and it seems like it's really sticking firmly. Hopefully it'll stay, we'll find out with time. Here on the fog light, this is the adjuster to go up and down with the light. Um, it's a lot easier to get to if you're going with your hand like I am under the car and going through this shield and just pop it out a little bit but all the lettering is upside down. So, because I don't like that and it just bothers me too much, I'm deciding to turn the fog light right side up with the lettering right side up. But the issue is being able to adjust the level of the fog light because now I have to go, you know, it's, it's an odd location now but you do what you want with that. Be mindful to plug it in. Um, so this cable's got a plus and minus. The plus is right here. The plus will go to the white cable 
and then your ground is brown, uh, black. So just make sure you line up the positive to the white cable. Make sure your fog light. This way, you just have to twist and turn a little bit. Get it in there. Like a little Lego part. And, yeah, it snapped in there pretty well. And I gotta go this way, right side up. So putting it in slits or slots right here on the bumper. We need to get these tabs into these slots. All right, everything's looking good. We can go ahead and put the bezel back. Oh, actually, yeah, so everything's looking good. Turn signal, oh man, that's a nice color orange. And I'm definitely liking the way the light is shown on the fog light it's more like a, a line that's pretty cool i'm actually really happy with that and now the fog lights match the headlights so even better take a look at that guys that front end looks so good just need to clean it up a little bit but wow turn the signals and the new fog lights look really good in there all blacked out let's turn it on and see what they look like mm -hmm. 